the Compassionate Communities Exchange. In this video, we will go through how to create a post in the exchange. So just as a friendly little reminder, everybody can read the exchange without becoming a member, but in order to engage, which is the whole purpose of this space, you would need to become a member, and you can do that over here by logging in or creating an account if you don't have one already. So in order to post something, so we already have an article that we would like to post in mind for this video. We would click on topic areas. This is the only space that you can post in. You would need to decide what topic area your post is best suited for, and you have to make sure that you've joined it. So for me, we're going to be posting and creating supportive environments for this video. So we scroll down, and here is the space with which you can create a post. So we're going to post something that makes sure um, includes all the different tags and things today so that you have a good understanding of how to use this. So I have already created the content. So there it is. And this will be about Brock University, who's working to become a compassionate university. And this project is being led by public health students um, as well as a public health alumnus from the um, or. Brock University alumnus. So we scroll down, we've created our content. We've also been able to, you can remove spaces if you'd like. We've also been able to include a link to a Brock University newspaper article. So that's going to show up when we post this. So let's add an image. So you click that button, you find the image on your computer. We're adding it. That's an image from um, the community engagement event. Next, we're going to enter our tags. So you click here and you select the tags that make sense. So this project is hopefully creating a more supportive network at Brock, so we're going to click that. And because Brock University is a post-secondary school, we click on schools. Now we want to attach. So you can click here to see what the requirements are, so the limits, the type of documents you can upload. You can also click on browse. So here we are. This is the first year report. So we're going to include that. So there it is. We can remove it. We've clicked the wrong one. And then the last piece of a post is selecting the region. So this is just helpful for people to understand what's going on around them. So let's click Ontario because Brock University is located in Ontario. And then we can click post. So here's the post. So because we were posting an article, little summary of what's included in that. We also included a news article on the project, the actual full report from the first year students. Here are the tags that we picked and we've included a video. If for some reason you're reading through and you're like, oh no, I got a spelling mistake or I want to change something, you click the little V here and you can either edit or you can delete the post. And some of the posts, you know, if you're you're wondering what some of the examples of posts are in here, you know, certainly sharing research and knowledge is super helpful. So a lot more of research articles are becoming um, open access now, so we can share them back and forth. Um, you know, I post some reports in here that are uh, very Canadian focused, but that are helpful for people working on compassionate communities where you can simply post a question. So maybe you're, you're trying to engage the mayor and you're having a hard time. So you could simply go to the appropriate topic area and you could post that question. You could say something, you know, something like, I'm having a tough time getting my, um, getting in front of the mayor of my community. Does anybody have any suggestions, right? And then that allows the rest of us to be able to comment with our suggestions and share our experiences on how we engaged with the mayor. By all means, you can also post cool events you have going on because it's a chance for all of us across the country to learn and build off each other and see what things are going on as well as around the world. Well, I hope you have found this video helpful. This is how to post in the Compassion Community Exchange. Look forward to seeing you in there.